Welcome to another video with me, Andrea. I just came back from swimming last, so I'm a little bit disheveled because I haven't really brushed my hair and stuff, but I wanted to invite you guys into my kitchen today and see one of my post-workout high-protein uh, vegan salads. So, um, you know, you can see if you follow me on Instagram, you can see a little bit of, of what goes into my my Instagram pics and uh, get a little sense of how I break down my meals. So I am starting with some leafy greens, a nice array of, um, I've got some uh, cabbage in there and kale, baby kale and spinach and chard and a whole mix. So already I'm starting off with some protein. There's about two to three grams of protein tons of vitamin C, 30% um, of my daily iron, 20% uh, of my vitamin C needs, and about 8% 8, 8 of my calcium needs. So then I'm going to add some corn. This is organic corn. There's 5 grams of protein. Here, let me just check on my... Whoa, no, no, no. My Brussels sprouts are burning. I smell something. Here, bake it at a lower temperature. Don't want those to burn. So, in the corn, I've got five grams of protein, lots of my fiber, 30% of my daily fiber needs, and I'm just going to kind of because I'm posting this on Instagram and I, I like to put a little bit of effort into my Instagram meals. I'm going to nicely spoon in my corn. So yeah, I've been, I've added swimming daily. I've been going to the public pool and swimming laps for an hour every day. You know, what's funny is we talk about mentally preparing for labor, but it's a, it is still a huge physical event. And as much as you can, especially when you start feeling better in your sec second trimester, you should try and exercise and start training. You know, like if you ask someone, what do you think is more difficult, giving birth or a running a marathon? I think most people would say giving birth, but you see people training for months before a marathon and a lot of women just go into labor with no physical prep and uh, you know it's just something that makes it a little bit more difficult for so I'm trying to strengthen my core and uh, my endurance and get as ready as I possibly can. All right, got my corn in there. So now I'm going to add some raspberries. I've pre-washed these raspberries. And the raspberries, let's see, I have it all written down. They've got one gram of protein, 6% iron of my iron needs, 4% of my calcium needs, and about 60% of my vitamin C. This salad is like chock full of vitamin C. I think there's over going to there's going to be over 3 per 300% of my um calcium needs. But just because it says, "Oh, you should only have this is 100%," doesn't mean, "Oh, I should stop now." Like vitamin C, too much vitamin C. It's not really a bad thing. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to only be focusing on that, but vitamin C is such an important thing to have. So the more the merrier. So now that's in there. Pardon the noise. So now I'm going to add some sunflower seeds. And I'm going to add um, two thirds of a cup. I love sunflower seeds if I can get these puppies open. 
So in two thirds of a cup, I will get 18 grams of protein and 30% of my iron needs and roughly 8% of my calcium needs. And these are, um, uh, they're uh, roasted but without salt and they're organic. They're kind of expensive but they're a nice little treat. So just kind of sprinkle those on top of my salad. You see a little bit of the magic that goes into my Instagram photos. Okay, I'm going to add these the rest at the end after I've taken my photo because otherwise it's just going to totally take over the picture. So last but not least, are my semi-burnt but still delicious looking Brussels sprouts. So these guys are really the, the clincher to making this a super healthy salad. Uh, in, I, I found out, I figured out how much I had in, in there, and then I measured it out that there's about 16 to 18 grams of protein, 17% um, of my calcium needs, and 70% of my vitamin C. And not to, like, I'm mentioning vitamin C and iron and calcium because those are big ones, but, like, there's so much more in these, guys. Like, these are super, super foods. And I, you know, everyone uses the word superfood, but in my opinion, every fruit and vegetable and grain is a superfood because they've got so much goodness and so low in fat, and you can eat this whole salad and feel full and satisfied and get so much out of it. So, I'll add these puppies. Don't want to burn myself. I just love Brussels sprouts. I think they're so, so delicious. And for a salad like this, I'd probably make a dressing with um, some balsamic reduction and uh, some Dijon mustard and a little bit of olive oil or flax oil or you know, you can get creative with the dressings. Sometimes I add some hot sauce to them. The baby and I are really enjoying spicy food right now, so I am not avoiding the spice. I'd love to hear some of your favorite salad recipes and some ways you're incorporating exercise into your pregnancy as well because I'm looking for more ideas. I've been walking, I've been swimming, and I've been doing occasional yoga, but I've really been noticing that my joints are kind of sensitive, so I've been not doing as much yoga as I would have liked to um, throughout this pregnancy. All right, so here's the finished product. It doesn't have all the ingredients in it yet because, like I said, I'm going to take a picture of it, make it all pretty and presentable, and then, uh, and then add the rest and the dressing afterwards because it just looks better like this. So here's the finished product. 
a delicious and colorful salad. And you can go on my Instagram, which I will, um, I'll put in my comments or in my uh, information section if you want to see the more artistic version that I guess on Instagram. Anyway, 45 grams of protein in this salad. Super healthy, calcium, iron, vitamin C through the roof. And uh, it's going to be delicious, I'm sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And uh, I'd love to hear some of your favorite recipes and how, uh, how you're doing with your training for this epic thing called birth. So have a great day, guys. Bye.